Hey guys, this is Kaylin. So today I want to share with you how I DIY and installed the kitchen shelves to the wall and also the cup holders underneath. So I have this empty wall on my kitchen and I want to add some shelving so that I can display either some beautiful decors or functional pieces such as beautiful bowls, cups, glasses. And more importantly, my husband and I are very crazy about pottery. So we had made quite a few handmade mugs that we want to display. I use mugs all the time, so it's really convenient for me to grab them from the shelf and then put them back once I'm done. Um, also, when I was installed on this shelf, I wasn't sure whether I'm gonna keep it forever, that I will like it. So I installed it in a way that doesn't damage my marble tiles. I have this three by six marble tiles that's tiled all the way to the wall and I want to keep it intact just in case that in the future I no longer like those kitchen shelves so that I can take it out and patch it up. My marble tile will still look intact just like nothing has been installed on the wall. One thing I want to note is that I'm not a contractor, I'm not a carpenter either. So the way I install them are really a hacky way that works for me. So take my method with a grain of salt and always consult to a licensed professional whenever you are in doubt. Now let's get started. First of all, I have decided to install two kitchen shelves that are supported by bracket. I'm planning to buy some wood boards from a hardware store and paint them white to match my countertop color. So I bought these pressure treated boards from my local lumber yard and then tripped them to about 10 inch deep. Because they were rough cut by the lumber yard, I need to trim both ends with a finer finish since both edges will be visible. I have a table saw and a miter saw on hand because I do a lot of DIY, but you can just use a circular saw or even a hand saw. It may just require a little bit more labor work. Then I gave the two boards a coat of primer and then three coats of paint. The color I'm using is called Simply White by Benjamin Moore. I'm using a cabinet paint for durability, but it does require a longer cure time. Once the shelfings are ready, it's time to install the supporting brackets. I bought these brackets online in this old brass finish, but the color is darker than I wanted. So I decided to brighten up the brass finish with some rub and buff. By the way, I'll link all the hardware and tools I'm using for this project in the description in case you are looking for the specific products I have used here. So I added a dollop of the rub and buff wax and then spread it thinly using a brush. This allows me to have a very light coat and a more accurate control of how much finish I want to add to it. You can see the before and after here. The color is a lot brighter and looks more like a brass. I had considered using a spray paint, but that way I won't have any control of how translucent the new layer is. I just worry the color will probably be too bright of a brass finish that I wanted for this case. And now it's time to install them to my marble tiled wall. The first part is to pre-drill. I'm using a masonry drill bit to create three holes on the grout line of my backsplash wall. You can see a zoomed in view here that the marble tile were barely damaged in this case. And then I attach the brackets to the wall and using the screws to go straight inside of those grout lines. Keep in mind that this installation will likely miss the studs, but I know I won't use it for anything heavy. I mainly use these kitchen shelves as a decor display and also for my mugs. If you want this shelf to hold anything heavy, I would suggest you to aim to hit the studs instead of going into the grout line. Now moving on to the cup holder part. I'm using this cup hooks from Home Depot that is 3 quarter of an inch. That's because I have a mug that has a very chubby handle. I think for most cases, using half inch should totally be sufficient. So I'm drilling a pilot hole and also mark the drill bit based on the screw height so that the cup hooks won't stick out from the other side of the board. And then I just screw each cup hooks in and make sure the opening is facing the outside to make it easier to hang any mugs or cups. 
and then I just put them onto the brackets and secure them with some screws so that they won't move. The screws I'm using are shorter because the one that came with the brackets are too long and my board is only three quarter inch thick. So I'm using the ribbon buff again to touch up the silver screws and make them blend in with the color of the shelf brackets. Then I'm using a smaller piece of paper to wipe off the excess ribbon buff wax. And now the shelf is done and it's time to decorate. Now, because my kitchen shelvings are right next to the kitchen window, I like to put a couple of plants, hoping that they will get bigger and eventually trail over the shelf. And now comes to the most exciting part, which is hanging our handmade mugs. I hope you like this video and has taken away some ideas for your own kitchen decoration. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.